Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to explain how I structure my workouts before I'm about to play an intense poker session. However, you can apply the exact same method to any industry, work or studies, basically anytime you need an extra boost of high level of concentration. So the objective here is obviously to increase our ability to focus and our overall mental endurance. What I've come to realize though is that different levels of exercise will have a very different effect on how I feel afterwards. When we work out, we exert energy. We deplete our glycogen levels by essentially breaking down our muscles by putting them through adversity so that they can replenish and grow back stronger, forcing them to adapt. And this includes our hearts, by the way, which is probably the most neglected muscle in our entire body. So physical exercise equals stress. And the more stress we put on our bodies, the more time we need to recover in order to repair our muscles and our central nervous system. I once ran a half marathon right before a 12 hour long poker session. And it was honestly what made me realize the dramatic effect physical exercise has on our mental endurance. Afterwards, I felt great for about two or three hours, but after that, it went downhill pretty quickly. And towards the end of my session, I even struggled to keep my eyes open. I clearly didn't have any more energy to spend that day. The thing is, poker and other high performance activities puts our bodies through an enormous amount of stress as well. So therefore, it might seem kind of crazy to add extra stress on the day we need to perform. But that's not necessarily the case. Science has actually shown that low intensity exercise actually improves recovery and increases our energy levels. And it can actually make us more stress resistant that day, as opposed to if we were just resting. What it really comes down to is two key components, and that is workload and intensity, i.e. how long you train for and how hard you push yourself. As for time, I find that anything between 20 and 40 minutes seems to be the sweet spot where I feel my absolute best afterwards anything above 40 minutes and it starts to have a diminishing return and anything less than 20 minutes, it's you haven't actually done much. So I aim for 30 minutes. In terms of intensity, you either wanna keep a consistent pace throughout or perform light intervals. The key here is to never go above 70% of your max heart rate. You wanna keep it nice and light, but still somewhat challenging. What form of exercise you do doesn't really matter as long as you keep track of these two components. My personal go-to is running because I find it the easiest to keep a steady pace and I always prefer to train outdoors whenever I have the option to. But you can perform any type of exercise you want, just make sure that you're not exerting too much energy by raising your heart rate by more than 70% while still keeping it challenging. You don't have to use a heart rate monitor, but it definitely makes things easier to keep track of the intensity of your workouts. I use the M3 from Morpheus, which connects to its app, which is also where I track my recovery. Its algorithm then provides me with my personalized workout zones based on my daily recovery score. My recovery zone averages around 150 to 160 beats per minute, but of course it varies depending on my current stress levels. If you don't have access to a heart rate monitor, I would recommend aiming for a pace that you feel confident that you can keep up for one hour, but not much longer than that. Whether you keep a steady pace or perform light intervals, you never wanna reach a state where you're out of breath. Afterwards, you should feel better than you did before. You've successfully increased the blood flow to your brain and you're not filled with endorphins, which will put you in a great mood for the rest of the day. So try it out for yourself and comment below and let me know how it made you feel in comparison to your regular workouts. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.